one more chronicle, and um, um, then some drama. So this is chronicle number eight. I've been having a time. The curling leaves of my... Oh, I should maybe say um, the context for this. Um, where I live in China, um, nine or ten months of the year, it's really hot and really humid. And when I say humid, um, I mean really wet. I mean, things just get wet. Um, books get wet, papers curl up, and it's just like, well, weird. Um, very wet. Um, so, I've been having a time. The curling leaves of my book suggest something, but the air is so heavy, it's taking a long time for us to decide upon anything, and what the curling leaves suggest will have to wait until later. Let's wait for the ink to dry, the underwear to dry, the bed linen to dry, your eyes to dry before you decide upon what to do next. Perhaps also there is a hint of deceit lurking in the air, but no one is owning to it. I've been feeling more ironic than usual, and everything in nature positively drips with God and godliness, so tonight, after I finish this, we will go night fishing, a nocturnal activity that seems to be all the go with the youth. Here, this being the seaside, you can capture more unsuspecting fishes and aquatic creatures than a body would believe. I'm not sure they're all edible, but whatever. We eat them anyway, and deal with the food poisoning later. My best friend's best friend works in a pharmacy, so we get a discount on over-the-counter medicines and free advice. Once, I've been having something of a time, if truth be told, he suggested I go fuck myself, and I did. <laughs> <laughs> okay, some drama. Um, there are some short, well, the short plays. Um, Mark Halliday and I have collaborated on lots of, lot, lots of little short, absurdist plays in the style of Kenneth Koch, the New York poet who wrote a book called um, A Thousand Avant-Garde Plays. And um, I started one one day and it kind of turned into my own little thing, just this little short play. And um, I ended up kind of keeping it for myself and writing some more. And I'm going to read three or four of them. Um, it's called Scenes from Flirts in Skirts. And um, this is scene, this is scene one. And they're dialogues between two guys, one of whom is called Bud, and the other one is called Jed. Very male names. And Bud, okay. The scene one is um, the kitchen, just behind a chap's left ear. Bud, what are these? Jed, they are photographs of girls' knees. Bud, where did they come from? Jed, I took them with my new Canon EOS 100D with an EF 70 200mm F stroke 2 a USM telephoto lens. Bud, don't you know that girls' knees are evil? Jed, they make me feel like mealtime. Bud, girls' knees are the invention of Satan. He went to the bottom of the abyss and scooped up a handful of the blackest evil and compressed it into bone and cartilage to make girls' knees. Jed, but I am in love with girls' knees. Bud, you are a clown man. I figure out which one, hold on. Oh yeah, scene four. Um, scene four, the inside of a chap's skull, just outside the brain. Jed, I am in love with Betty. Bud, she is a flirt. Forget her. She does not believe in God. Jed, but she has legs and is always smiling toward my house. Bud, all girls have legs, except some of the severely disabled. Jed, but she wears such short skirts. I am in love with them. Bud, short skirts are the invention of Satan. He invented them during his clothing period. <laughs> Jed, but Betty is my destiny. Bud, you are a man idiot. <laughs> this is scene 25, the laundry basket next to a fellow's elbow room. Bud, you called out Betty's name in your sleep last night. Jed, she is the girl of my dreams. Bud, then you called out Lorraine's name. Jed, she is the girl of my dreams too. Bud, then you called out Shirley and Mabel and Doreen and another one that was muffled so I couldn't make it out. Jed, they are the girls of my dreams even when they are muffled. Sometimes the muffled ones are the best. Bud, 
Dreams are the invention of Satan. <laughs> he invented them when he found that God had made sleep so we could hide from the darkness of night. And then he put girls into them as an extra dose of evil. Jed, well, I never seem able to get enough sleep. Bud, you are a man, exclamation <laughs> mark. Okay, and the last one from this little section I'm going to read is scene 78. I made up these numbers, by the way. There's not this many scenes. I just made up the numbers to make it seem like there were lots. Um, scene 78, the bottom of a man's cage. Bud, I just found a bunch of girls' under things in the laundry I was going to do. Where did they come from? Jed, ah, oh, here and there. Bud, I wash them separately on a delicate cycle. Jed, you're a peach. Bud, it looked like they did not all belong to the same girl. Some were petite while others were on the large side, to put it mildly. Jed, you're right, Sherlock. I'm a great fan of little and large. <laughs> And I am happy to say I'm not picky either. My lady friends come in all shapes and sizes. But lady friends in all shapes and sizes are the invention of Satan. He invented them when he wanted to find out if there was a line men would not cross. And when he found out there was no such line, he was so pleased he left them to reproduce ad infinitum. Jed. You didn't happen to see a latex man pouch in amongst those things, did you? I seem to have misplaced mine. But you are a baboon man. 